Hi guys, it's Jen here and welcome to Jen's Wild About Art and welcome back to Penbuary. So for today's Penbuary piece, I wanted to do just a head pit portrait of a deer, beautiful big buck deer. So I'm just, I've got the, a picture of Unsplash and I'm just going to do it in ballpoint pen because it's Penbuary, so it's pen or pencil or anything with pen involved um, for the whole month of February. So it can be ink pens, it can be fountain pens, it can be ballpoint pens, it can be pencils, any kind of pencil, watercolour pencil or whatever. So anything that involves pen or pencil, just get yourself drawing for the month of February. So I'm just drawing in the outline now and I'm doing a little bit of, I just popped his pupil in, I'm popping a little bit of hatching just into his eye to create a little bit of shadow. And then I start building up the colours around his face. And I go quite heavy on the top of his face because um, the fur is very dark and dense on the front of his face there. So I literally, to get darker pen, you put you put more pressure on. To get lighter, you, you press lightly. And so now I'm taking the fur around his face. I'm leaving a gap around his eye because he has like a creamy pale mask around his eyes. So I outline that sort of to begin with. And then I follow down his cheek and I make sure to follow the direction of his fur and just do fine little lines. And then I go onto his ear and I just darken up the edge of his ear. And anywhere that's darker, I press heavier. So I've done just a little bit of deeper colour around his chin to give a guide. Um, I've sort of marked in the areas where the tones change in his fur, just with little sort of guidelines. So now I'm going softly with the pen again and following the direction of his fur down his face towards his cheek. And then onto his muzzle. I darken the colour up on his muzzle a little bit and define his nostrils a little bit more and his lips and then I pop, he's got whisker marks so I pop those in and now he's got quite a heavy fur coat around his neck his, his, thick, his fur is longer and thicker so I pop that in just with rough lines trying to make it sort of look give the uh, appearance of rough coat and a coat around his muzzle is very fine so I just do fine long lines for that and then I get back into the fur on his face again and do a little bit of cross hatching and then I start to work on his neck see I'm still working down his neck in very light lines until I get to where the fur is thicker and more dense and then I use a heavier pressure on the pen. So I'd like to thank everyone who's been involved in Penbuary. It's been lots of fun. So what I'll do, I'll pop below the links to, we've got YouTubers who've made videos for Penbuary, so I'll pop all their links below and also I'll pop the names of people who've um, participated in Instagram and Twitter as well. So I'd love for you guys to pop down into the description and check everyone out. That would be awesome. It's There's some fantastic artwork in amongst it. And if you want to get involved yourself, just hashtag Penbuary um, on Instagram or Twitter or make a YouTube video. Just hashtag um, myself, uh, Jen's World About Art, or Laurie at the Laurie Files because um, we both decided on doing this this. Um, challenge so yeah it was a bit of fun so if you tag Laurie and I uh, we'll pop over and check out your art and give you a call out in our descriptions so now I'm working on the antlers and I'm just trying to keep the tones right so the bottoms of the antlers on this side is very dark and the top side is, is light so I'm being sure to keep the two like the, the difference in tone um, with the heaviness of the pen so I've darkened up pressed harder where it's darker and left it light 
light pressure where it's a lighter colour. And I take that round both of his antlers and it gives them a three dimensional look. And now I'm going back in and just deepening up the darkest areas. So I add a bit more fur around his ears. Take it, I take a little bit of cross hatching. I want to darken up the fur just around his eye a little bit. So I do a little bit of more cross hatching around there and around the bottom of his ear. And I take that down his neck. Just going on a slightly different angle to the original line of fur. Just it just makes it just look that little bit darker. And his fur is a bit mottled on his neck, so I've just left it varied and a bit different in patches on his neck. And now I'm darkening up sections of his neck fur it's really dense neck fur it's really rough and long almost like a mane they're amazing so I just darken that up in patches not all over just finish the details around his eye and we're just about done guys so I hope you enjoyed this picture of a deer I had a lot of fun drawing it and like I said just hashtag Penbury to Instagram Twitter or make a video just hashtag Laurie and I um with Penbury and I'll see you guys for the next Penbury video. Have an awesome day and I'll catch you then. Okay, bye.